I'm in Northwest DC today at 9th in U at a restaurant that's yet to open, a restaurant and bar that's yet to open. And we're talking to somebody today about their profession that, well, doesn't get a lot of love because there hasn't been a lot going on here during COVID. Uh, this is Patrick Kerwin and he is a muralist. Patrick, explain to me what you're doing here. Well, we've got three businesses in this um, building. And this is a tiki bar called Tiny Tiki in the basement. And so I'm working on the decoration for that by painting these Easter Island heads. How long have you been working on this project and, and what has gone into it? Well, it started when, when COVID hit and I, and I uh, was approached by the business owner to do some murals here. Well, I became an artist when I was five years old and I drew on the walls of my parents' house. Sure, they house. loved that. Yeah, and they loved it so much they just put me into art school so I would um, not draw on the walls, I'd draw on paper or whatever. And, and now you are now drawing on walls. 62 and drawing on walls. <laughs> so each uh, floor has a different uh, business. And this is the tiny Kiki bar. On the second floor is a Vietnamese restaurant, and on the top floor is a, a special sports bar. Each level has something different. So what are we looking yeah, at so here? This is just some foliage that I made, and so it works with the lights at night. I'll take you upstairs and show you the um, Vietnamese restaurant. Great. All aboard, so here we are on the main level, the restaurant level, and, and what have we done? Well, this is a restaurant, a Vietnamese restaurant called uh, 1914. So they, they are uh, based on uh, North Vietnamese cuisine. So in Hanoi, there's a street where a train goes through the restaurant area and people eat on the tracks and the train comes through and they move off the tracks. When you get a project like this and you're like, I'm gonna paint a train inside of a restaurant. I mean, does the five-year-old in you just sort of jump out and go, this is so cool. Exactly, it's, it's so cool. Right, so I'm kind of having a Bill and Ted moment here. You, this is a, a phone booth from North Vietnam? Yeah, it's a pay phone. So this is a brick facade, but this isn't. You painted yeah, this. Yeah, I, I, I carried on the bricks to come around. So there's some painted illusion and then there's real bricks. So it's really integrated into the space. All right, so let's, yeah, let's take a look at the bar. Yeah, come on up. So I'm noticing right off the bat these patterns, sort of this geometry. Yeah, this is all Neo Geo, Neo Geometric painting. And if you get into a particular location, this comes together and the illusion of uh, cubes coming down. Is, is made. It's like the movie Inception where they fold the city on top yeah. of itself. Are you able to switch that on for us? Take a look at this. Thanks, Ian. Have you ever seen anything like that? I mean. Yeah, this is the start of the show. So we've got a lot of uh, visual uh, activity in here. Would you say that this project has really been a, a godsend during COVID for you? Yeah, and, and, and especially since it was so creative and innovative with the light-up bar and hanging these uh, sculpture pieces. It was, it was uh, a dream come true, really. So it'll be sad to be finished. I, I, I want a party here, by the way. Oh, so when this absolutely. place opens, you and me, yeah, we'll and put down the paint, we'll pick up a beer. No, we have whiskey here. We'll have whiskey yes. then, yeah, yeah. What am I thinking? Look at this space. We're not drinking beer in here. First of all, shout out to you for trying to arrange a men's sip and paint. Because it is, it is time that we have crossed the gender barrier with that. First things first, combination of a lot of things we like when it comes to artwork and when it comes to people finding creative ways to, uh, to express themselves, yeah. especially throughout the pandemic. My first question, uh, where can I have seen his work pre-pandemic? Like, what, what is some of the stuff that he worked on? Yeah, so there's a huge mural. A few of them actually through the Del Rey section of Alexandria. He's the one who did the Dogs of Del Rey mural. Awesome. So there's just, it's a, a mural, just a bunch of different dogs on the outside of this building. But as you put it, I mean, artists really had to pivot during the pandemic. I mean, Patrick, he had to you know drop his prices and just things are a little different, but he's been working on this project for 18 months now. Um, so three levels, Tiny Tiki at the bottom, 1914 is the restaurant 9U where that beautiful quartz light up bar was. That's on the top level. They're going to be opening that either this month or next. One interesting thing there about the restaurant, right? It's highlighting this section of Hanoi where there's this narrow corridor of buildings where there's restaurants and train tracks and people actually sit on the train tracks and eat and then the train sort of slowly meanders through and people get up until it's gone. That's not there anymore. The uh, uh, Vietnam government just sort of had to shut that down because too many people were taking selfies there and the trains couldn't get through. So in 2019, they shut that down. So that train doesn't come through uh, that, uh, that part anymore. But listen, I, I just wanted to end on this, Reese. We all, I feel, take for granted 
the, the, the beauty and the ambience of a space that we go into. I mean, some people are going to go into that business when it opens and have no idea the amount of time and energy it took to build all of that out and to make it look as beautiful as it does. Well, hey, he is definitely very overqualified for it, so it's fantastic <laughs> that he got it there because he can knock it right out. And shout out to everybody out in Vietnam who was late for their work meeting because somebody wouldn't get off the train tracks in time. Yeah. I know that. Thing. Ruined it for the rest of us. Listen, reach out to me if you've got a good story that you want to tell or you know somebody who you think should be on TV. A Longo, WSA9.com, or find me there on social media.